Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since I've made a video. Um, 2021 got a bit on top of me so I took a step back and uh, now as 2022 uh, begins I'm going to try and start afresh. So the Detroit Lions, they are one of the worst teams in the NFL if not the worst team. Traded away their best player last offseason in Matt Stafford for Jared Goff. Um, but they did pick up some first round picks there and so have a very good foundation to build from. My job in this, what is potentially going to become a series, is to build the, the Detroit Lions into a Super Bowl winning team. Now, it's not going to be done in one season. We all know that the Detroit Lions roster just isn't good enough for that. So we're going to try and uh, gain a few assets, get as high a pick as possible in the draft this season. We're still going to aim for four wins. That's what I've told the owners. So hopefully we won't get fired in a season that we are expecting to rebuild anyway. But yeah, first game is going to be against the San Francisco 49ers. They've got George Kittle. I've got a very poor defense, as I'll show you the roster in a second. But this first season is going to be done where I will just play the moments as opposed to full games. And then once we start to build the team properly, I will start playing properly. It's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league. And you'll be facing the 49ers. What's the key to victory? Ideally, we establish a rhythm on offense, dictate the flow of the game, and get a big enough lead to make their offense one-dimensional. Obviously, off the offense will be the key, but uh, as is a pass... Oh, mate, I've already fucked this up. We're going for a passing attack. Fuck it. Throwing for 350 yards is our... Uh, is our goal for the game. We're going to look at the roster quickly before we get into the game. Jared Goff has to send to the quarterback. De uh, DeAndre Swift um, will be the starter running back, as I suspect he will be for a while to come. Uh, and Jamal Williams, I'm sure, will be uh, a good backup for, for that. Um, Kabinda at fullback, no one really cares. But we have Tyrell Williams as our starting wide receiver. I signed Marquise Goodwin out of free agency because, uh, well, as you can see there, 96 speed and 96 acceleration. We're going to need some speed on this team if we're going to get anywhere. Tight end, our best offensive player, TJ Hawkinson. I say best offensive player, our best skill position player is TJ Hawkinson, and we want to keep him happy, feed him the ball, and hope that he doesn't get injured too much throughout the season. Jeff Okuda and Amani Oruwari are our top corners, who are also very, very bad. If they go down injured, I mean, that those backups look look like I'm going to be getting burnt every play. Trey Boston is another player I brought in on free from free agency. Um, he might not have the speed and acceleration that Will Harris has, but he is a better coverage guy and probably a better hitter in truth. Um, Tracy Walker remains the strong safety as well. So that's the roster. Let's get into game one against the 49ers. Okay, so we start on offense. And uh, if we can get a, some scoring in early, that would be nice. You know, nice first drive touchdown. Whether it will happen or not is another thing. Uh -oh. oh, that looks all right. Williams. Ooh, Ooh okay. First play, 27 yards from Jared Goff. Something that I'm going to have to get used to is throwing on the run, or at least uh, rolling out of the pocket, because this offensive line... I was going to say this offensive line is really bad, but actually, they're not doing too bad at all. Forget that Darren Fells is actually the backup to Hawkinson on this... Uh... Oh, wow. And that's that, uh, that Niners defense just coming in through that right guard spot where we don't have a particularly good uh, player. Oh, I thought. Wait for Swift to, to see if we can pick it up, but the linebackers reacted too, too quickly. It's good. We take a 3 0 lead. It's what we need. So the defense needs me. Big third down stop. 
Oh, I think we stopped them as well. There we go. This is cover two. Hawkinson should be open. It was so early, early pass. Hawkinson open makes the catch. Gotta try and get some yards on the ground, really, because Swift had a good. Well, he's had a good first couple of uh, runs, isn't he? 19 yards off the two carries. We'll take it. Tara Williams, that's a good. It's a good play. We're into the red zone. 77 yards off of his first five completions, Jared Goff. Swift with another good run as well. 27 yards off of his first three rushes. Can't be off that. This man coverage, uh, yeah. <clears throat> should have gone. Should have gone up the pocket instead, up and through the pocket instead of trying to get outside. Oh. <clears throat> almost, almost, but and Seabert makes that one as well, or Seibert, whatever his name is. So it's a two-minute drill now. Oh, I like that swift in the open field. How did 57 just grab his ankles like that? Oh, Williams. Williams is actually really good. Gets separation really nicely, and I, I will take that big gain again. Hawkinson. And we should be out of bounds. Nope. Clock's still running somehow, so even though he's definitely tackled out of bounds. This would make it a 53 yard field goal if we were to get no yards here. We can't afford to lose any more yards here anyway. Alright, Swift, we're probably Swift or Hawkinson here just to get a few more yards. And we'll take that. Second and 20. We'll let that run down to a uh, couple of seconds to go. And there we go. Only field goals to start this uh, start this season. First half has been pretty poor, I would admit. Okay, so San Francisco turn it over and we have an opportunity inside. Well, it's just outside the 10 yard line. It's just inside the 10 yard line, which means this is first and goal. We'll go with the draw play. Swift breaks a tackle on the <laughs> there, but only gets three yards. Eight for 39 so far today. Marquis Goodwin is open and he gets the first touchdown of this series. Marquis Goodwin is 96 pace, creating separation. And San Francisco scores straight back, so it's only a five point game now. Can Goff get the first down? He can. And they're at the 25 yard line there. Goff trundling. We're inside the red zone. First and 10 from the 11. I wouldn't say this was a dominating performance. Whoa, Nick Bosa coming up from behind there and just absolutely destroying Goff. Could have, should, probably should have fumbled. Kabinda! <coughs> Touchdown! Oh. It's going to be a run. <laughs> Shit. Caught oh, you bastard. I thought I got him. <clears throat> well, that's what happens when you uh, play goal line in the middle of the field. There we go. Williams gets a block from Goodwin. Nope. Williams can nope. go. Williams will go. 96 yards. What a block from... Uh, from Goodwin to spring it. No! You send out the hands team and they still can't recover the ball. <clears throat> okay. I mean, this is going to be... It's going to be bullshit if uh, we end up losing this. This isn't what we want to see. Oh dear, first time out. This isn't great at all. Defense isn't the best. 
Oh, fuck off. That's bullshit. Uh, we need three points. Ooh. Why is Armin Rousen browning? Where, where's Goodwin? Has he got injured? Not bad. Okay, I, I criticised him being in my lineup, but he did all right there. We've got we've got one chance. Oh my word! Cephas has managed to get a first down, and we're going to take the field goal here. Take it to overtime in game one. We were given 22 seconds to get downfield. And we've got into, into field goal range. I mean, this isn't ideal. They've, they've iced us as well. And we go to overtime. See, Cyber has absolutely drilled that 32. Oh. We'll start the ball on the ground. It looks like... Uh, San Francisco maybe turned the ball over. It's a good run as well to start. Oh, good block. Really good block. Swift does a great job of uh, picking up the first down. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. The block's just opened everything up. You'd love to see it. Now, they've been running the ball well, so maybe it opens up this uh, play action pass. Who knows? That's what we'd like to see. Oh, that's nice. Williams ends the game 38 32 in overtime. Williams with another touchdown. He was the guy that was the catalyst for this, uh, this game, I, I swear. We'll go to our post game interview, though. Well, Okay, let's talk with TJ Hawkinson. Our passing offense looked unstoppable. Always fun to go through the week with a plan and see it pay off. Great win, coach. A great win indeed. We'll look at the weekly awards and Jared Goff was player of the week for the NFC, or offensive player of the week for the NFC. 29 of 41, 443, four touchdowns, three carries and 30 yards. It is rivalry week. Well, it's a rivalry game. NFC North rivalry. We're facing a bitter rival in the Packers this week and limiting the impact of Devontae Adams must be a top priority. How are you stopping? Okay. We're basically going to make sure that he's not the guy that beats us. We have to hold him under 75 combined rushing and receiving yards. I doubt that's going to happen. But we will see. <clears throat> now training is complete. We will look at upgrading players. And the player that we want to upgrade is DeAndre Swift. So yeah, we'll spend it on his elusive back status. And he is now a 79 overall. Lovely. Plus two to change direction as well. That's going to be nice to have. Okay, and so after winning in week one, we go into our first division rivalry game against the Packers. This is where we're going to leave episode one of the rebuilding the Detroit Lions to win a Super Bowl. That's probably not going to be the title of this series because that is far too long. Goff's playing all right. Defense is awful. We're going to need to look at getting some players in on the, uh, the defensive side in the draft. But yeah, as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave them in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, including more of this uh, Detroit Lions Super Bowl rebuild, then please subscribe. And I will see you next time.